Hey, yo, what's good, Norman Gang? Season 4 just dropped, and I've been playing since about 1 a.m., and these are, like, my first impressions. I bet my best class setup for the Galil and Vector, and I'm going to show you guys how to rank up your guns the fastest way because if you guys are hopping on thinking I'm going to go straight to shipment, rank the guns up, that's not going to happen because they took shipment 24-7 out. I don't understand why. That's just something that should have been changed. But anyway, diving into the best class setup. Um, This best class setup for Warzone. Of course, you always want to rock with the monolithic suppressor, and you want the 5 MW laser, the fuck, the commando grip, and the 45 mag. And this barrel right here makes all the difference in the world with the Galil. Now, at first, the Galil was okay, but using this barrel, it's really amazing. And I was really hoping the Galil actually could compete with other guns because if it didn't compete, it was pretty much pointless. Because you know the Grog gonna outshoot it, the M4 gonna outshoot it, but it's actually a great gun. And people are saying, oh, it might be overpowered. No. I mean, if you're going to complain about the uh, the Galil, you should have been complaining about the Growl. So it's, you know, really whatever. The Vector, it's amazing. I'm loving this gun, too. People were saying it might have been overpowered. It's great for what it's supposed to do. And it's great for being very, very up close. But as you start to step back, the gun almost becomes like a little pea shooter. But up close, it shreds. So... I like how Call of Duty did that. Very up close, it's gonna dominate, but as you start to back up and increase range, it you know the damage starts to fall off very very quickly, and it's now the highest uh, fire rate uh, submachine gun class too. So if you want to rock a ZL or a, a saber um, suppressor because that helps with uh, recoil. You want the 5MW laser because it's almost it's like a, a hit fire machine too up close, and that's pretty much great. You want the sleight of hand because you want to start off with 25 uh, bullets in the mag. But on top of that, the re the um the reload time is horrible. It's terrible to say it only has 25 bullets and the rate of fire is so fast. So you want to get slide of hand as soon as possible. And you want the 40 round drum mags and you want the Mark 4 grip. Going back to the um the Galil, I did notice that it had the most damage out of let's say the Growl, um, the M4 and the kilo basically the name of a lot of the assault rifles is pretty much popular in the game right now and it has a lot of range and on top of that the galil has a lot of mobility too so it could be i'm not i don't want to be that person who says the best gun in the game but it could be one of the best guns a rocking war zone but yeah oh now I'm shifting to the fast way to rank them up what you want to do to rank them up fast is you want to play, uh, basically just play blood money. Because what happens is you get XP for literally doing everything. Contracts, kills. Um, sometimes, a lot of the times when you kill somebody else down player, you get 275 XP just from the start of the game. From um, confirming the kill. The kill doesn't even have to be yours, but you still get a lot of XP for it. And I wish I had noticed, uh, noticed this earlier because all these other game modes that they didn't add it it's really nothing but a sniping fist i mean it's cool and all but like the like you get on twitter there's nothing but snipers everywhere and it's kind of aggravating because everybody is like pretty much going for gold in damascus with the sniper right now so nobody wants to uh play like let's say warzone rumble or ground war i mean that stuff is sound good until you want the game you ain't dying and dying and dying so go play blood money think about this once you die you redeploy you get XP for literally everything you do. You rank up the gun very, very fast. And on top of that, use your XP tokens too from the battle pass because I cleared into 15 levels in one game. No joke doing that. And I wish I would have known that from jump instead of trying to grind up these other game modes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you guys the best class setup again. And I also got the full battle pass unlocked. So I'm just going to go through that at the end of the video. So if you guys want to see each item. I don't want to waste too much time on that, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like it could be probably you know, one of the best guns in the game right now. But yeah, next video gonna be the uh, probably some gameplay from Warzone. Gotta push it out as soon as possible. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you're new. Comment if you're looking forward to getting a battle pass or how you feel about the Galil or the Vector. And I'm gonna catch y'all next video. Peace out and have a good one.